Today I'm starting a new series of tutorials on HTML. Uh, then after we cover HTML, we're going to move on to bigger and better things, such as CSS and PHP, jQuery, and uh, all those things that are going to give you a uh, huge knowledge base around web design. It's going to make things really fun, fun filled. Anyway, um. Before I get completely started with these tutorials, you should know that all you need to follow along with this is a web browser like Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer, and either Notepad, which I have here, should be on every Windows machine, and or Dreamweaver. And uh, I highly recommend downloading the Dreamweaver trial. You can do that off of their website. It's Adobe Dreamweaver. Adobe... Dream Weaver, <coughs> and it is very very useful as you can see here it just has a ton of options color coding for every language for every script everything but we're gonna get started with the tutorial here so first things first basics of the basics let's start out with our HTML tags you just do it by typing a left arrow followed by HTML and a right arrow and that opens up the HTML tag. Now to close the tag, you go down a couple of lines at the bottom of your document. This should technically be the last line on all your documents. You hit left arrow, shift, or shift comma to get that, and then forward slash. And if you're on Dreamweaver, it will automatically close it with all the tags, specifically. Uh, but if not, just go ahead and type left arrow forward slash HTML right arrow to close it so what we did is we opened up the HTML tag and then we closed it down here and when a browser is a uh, you know when you type in google.com the browser is gonna go to Google and it's gonna ask for whatever is in between those two tags and that's gonna be our web page so next thing the head section you do that by typing left arrow head, right arrow to open up, and much like the HTML tag, we're going to close the tag by typing a forward slash and then head. Now everything that goes inside of your head, this is uh, pretty important for future stuff if you ever get into CSS or jQuery, um, anything like that. Um, anything that goes in your head is basically going to describe information. Uh, information modification with JavaScript um, CSS it's gonna describe your document the background colors the fonts uh, the, everything I mean CSS can modify anything with HTML and we will cover CSS in later tutorials but um, we're gonna be doing the CSS later up here in this head section so as of this tutorial the only thing we're gonna put up here just to show you to describe the document they also have a title tag standard HTML so you type left arrow title and then whatever is between the opening of the title and the ending is technically going to be whatever the window title is so we're going to call this my first html page smiley face and that's basically it for the title tag so now we can actually move it up always keep things aligned and compact now, the main aspect of your entire HTML document, where all your content is going to be, your tables, your links, your images, everything, is going to be inside a tag called the body tag. And like every other tag in HTML, you open it up with the left arrow, type body, right arrow to close it, and then to close the whole tag itself and all the content within it, type left arrow forward slash body. And as I said before, Dreamweaver would automatically recognize it. If not, if not, if you had a notepad, it should still look exactly the same. Much like that. So if you're following along and your notepad looks like that, then you are good to go. Anyway, um, inside the body tag here, 
what we're going to do is we're going to type, um, and I'm going to describe this specific element in an entire tutorial on its on itself, period. Like, uh, there's going to be an entire tutorial on this element, but the element is called divs. That's D-I-V. So, uh, if you type left arrow div space align equals center and then right arrow and then you drop down a couple spaces left arrow and as I said before forward slash and that closes the div so whatever we put inside this div whatever we put inside this space right here is going to be aligned to the center within the document because it's inside the body tags so let's just say hello world and there you go now how do you save an HTML document like this well it's actually gonna be very very similar if you uh, have notepad but you go to file save as and for me I'm just gonna put it on the desktop and I'm gonna call this index all lowercase index.html hit save and then in Firefox, if you, I'm sorry, in uh, Dreamweaver, if you ever want to actually go through with testing a document like this, all you have to do is click this little world up here, glows blue, drops down, and you can say which browser you want to preview your document in. Preview in Firefox or preview in IE or Internet Explorer. Um, I highly, highly recommend you preview in uh, Firefox. It's just much, much faster and much more efficient. So you hit preview in Firefox, and there it is. This is our first HTML document. You see that we have the text here that says, hello world, and it is aligned to the center of the document, right there in the center. And oh, there's our title, my first HTML page, smiley face. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's the very basics of the basics of HTML. And uh, even though HTML itself is extremely basic and 100%, 120% standard in the world of web design, you have to know it before you can move on to any of the pretty stuff. Uh, it's, it's completely necessary. So if you're looking to go into web design and you'd like to follow along with the rest of my tutorials, you can hop on over to my channel at Tutorial Clarity. And uh, I have a bunch of more tutorials here. As of recent, I've been doing a lot of tutorials on Photoshop. But as I said, we are moving forward and we are moving on with web design and coding so definitely feel free to check that out uh, guys my name is Graham with tutorial clarity this has been a basic tutorial on HTML head and body tags take care the